Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman here, and also my new YouTube channel, you just subscribed to, and uh, five seconds from now, Pew Reviews. Whoa, Tessa. Um, I'm going to do something. I'm in the South. If you didn't know, the Wolfman on my world tour is in the South. It's time I did something Southern-like. Like sit in my rocking chair with three dogs, some iced tea, some pretzels instead of potato chips, they're not totally Southern. And I'm going to talk about the top five gun movies that are not on other people's lists. So no John Wick, no he. The top five gun, they're not just gun movies, they're cool gun movies. And the top five, now we're probably going to name a bunch more. What do you think? I mean, of course, since I've never studied a history book and... Don't pay attention to what the F has gone around throughout history and now in other countries around the world. Of course this is unloaded. This would of course never be loaded in case some home invader came to hurt me and my dogs. They don't want me to turn in a John Wick with my long boy here. I actually just happened to be wearing my Tolster shirt after I changed out of my nice shirt for a job interview today with my... Tolster holster. Guys, I think I'm going to start doing affiliate links, maybe with them and 1776 and uh, other companies. So we're going to get you... Cooper, don't knock over the camera! Come here. Come here. Cooper. No, Tessa, no! We're going to knock over the damn camera. Okay, let's get to the cool movies not on other lists. Thanks for bearing with me. Number one, in case, especially in case you didn't read 1984 because you're an idiot that doesn't remember what reading a book is about before they burn them all like Fahrenheit 451 and you want to know what's going on in the world you should watch the documentary about 2020 and 2021 and 2022 called Equilibrium I mean maybe it actually takes place in 2025 if you're not close I mean if you studied history and look at Nazi Germany where they were in 31 32 to 36 how quickly things change and you're invading other countries 36 37 yeah World War yeah maybe maybe you should you know maybe pay attention and watch the movie Equilibrium for the original, well, I mean, not original, I'm a John Woo fan, so we're not mentioning any John Woo movies. You know what, I'll mention them, I don't care, this is a top 25 list. Jambronis, maybe it's top 5, I don't know. Outside of John Woo movies, with Choi Yun Fat, with his slick back hair and his shades, and his matchstick or toothpick, Miriam Cobretti, Besides Cobra, I don't care. I'm just going to start naming stuff. Number one was Equilibrium. The movies that aren't on other people's gun movie list. Equilibrium got us gun kata. It got us the original kind of, sort of, gun fu. More gun fu than just John Woo flying through the air slow motion. Gun fu before John Wick. Because John Wick is not on this list. We got Equilibrium. Great movie. And it's going to tell you a lot about what's going on and emotions that are having to be had. From the people that actually control their emotions versus, uh, you know, the people on the other side of the spectrum that are just emotionally controlled idiots that don't know what the heck they're doing. That are so easily manipulated. Okay, number two. Let's try to keep it a little more fun, Dan. Come on. Come on. Number two. Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints. One of the top cool movies. Gun movies, if you will. With Sean Patrick Flannery, SPF, a fellow Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. I've been to his academy about three times before. Even, like, was nice and said, come on down, audition. Maybe I sucked. I don't know. For this, um, I wasn't really right and too big for the role. But for some uh, role, uh, uh, internet, interweb thing he was directing at the time. So, uh, Boondock Saints. Awesome. Awesome movie. Fun time. Good times. If you haven't seen it, you need to see it. Number three, a movie that I passed up for a few weeks. And I'm telling you, it's like John Wick 2, and she would give John Wick a run for his money. It's on Netflix right now, Kate. And unlike all the Let's Make Woman Power movies, a lot of them are bad, or remakes, a lot of them are bad. I mean, the first Wonder Woman was good, compared to the second. Uh, let's look at, you know, 
all those movies, you know, where the woman's the main character and she's a bad MFer because she trained with a trainer for three months and yet it looks horrible. And I'm not talking about Haley Berry looked awesome in John Wick 3, but I'm talking about the other ones. Well, the one who looks really awesome and believable and it's cool film edited awesome movie and I need to rewatch it is Kate. Kate is on Netflix. Kate, if you like John Wick 2 especially, you're going to love Kate. It's cool. And I don't know who the actress says She looked like a stunt woman. Uh, and she wasn't. I think she's just an actress, but she looked so good. I thought it was a, like, well-trained martial artist, gun fu stunt woman. Number four on the list is the always extremely cool doggies. They haven't seen you on camera, actually. I think you were off camera. Come here, Coop. You've been waiting the longest. Tessa, get out of the way. Cooper, don't knock over the stand. All right, Tessa, go on. There's Tessa, everybody. Give a thumbs up for Tessa. Give a thumbs up and a subscription for Tessa. Out of the way, Tessa. Come here, Coop. You've been waiting. You're so patient. Come here. Ah, ah. Coopers. Cooper, come on. Cooper. Now, Tessa. Cooper, get your old butt here. All right, Luke, come on. You can come up, Luke. Come on. Come on, Luke. Come up. You know, like, Luke only goes on my lap sometimes. He's a little camera shy. He's a little camera shy the other day. All right. Desperado. Antonio. Banderas. So it's not only my bio dad that has the ponytail. His hair is long and he's putting in the ponytail. And on the, the, the hair was a character in the character in Desperado. So much cool gunplay in that movie. Dual P90s, holding them in one hand. Reloads, a lot of reloads, trying to be silent with the reload. Desperado was so cool. I haven't watched it in a long time. I just started watching it again a couple nights ago. I got about 15 minutes left. Uh, I'm busy guy. And uh, anyway, Desperado, super cool, super cool. And in fact, before the renaming so we can own your culture and history stuff, it just happened to be an awesome Hollywood-ish movie, like big budget movie remake of El Mariachi, um, which... <laughs> How he came up with that money, you might want to look in it with a little bit of money to make out O Mariachi. And uh, Robert Rodriguez directed and Selma Hayek, gorgeous, gorgeous. And we do get to see a little bit of uh, gorgeousness in the, in Desperado. But Ruger, P90s. Ruger now sends me testing evaluation pistols. If you look at my new EDC video, the Max 9 unboxing just needs some editing of some cool action footage. And then, boom, the, uh, the Max 9 Pro unboxing video will be coming out soon. Now, like, Ruger's in my pocket right now. Always be ready. Um, but Desperado was awesome. P90s were so awesome in it, I want one. Even though they're not the greatest guns or the greatest triggers, they're reliable. The sights weren't the best. But I want a P89, a P90, a P94, 95, 96. 96? I don't know. 97. I think they skipped 96. Um, I, I kind of want one, you know. Um, even the bad guys were using his P90. But it, it was just so cool, man. It was cool. It was cool. He was flying through the air. John Woo Choi in fat style with that back jump. And the bop, 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 I mean, he was throwing it and he wouldn't be accurate as heck. But he kind of did it as a character, all this kind of silliness. So, I mean, I'm not the most accurate gun movie, but fun. This is about fun, cool movies. And number five. It's really anything but my man, Denzel Washington. My man, Denzel Washington. I mean, we, we could just go on and on. And people don't realize what a great of an action actor he is. We got Equalizer 1 and 2, probably the most obvious. Did you forget about Man on Fire? When's the last time you watched Man on Fire? What about Training Day? Is it a good movie or not? I don't know, but boy, he made those... Dual 4506 Smith & Wesson. I think third gen's characters of their own rubbing them together. They were characters just like he was a character. Just like the real guy he based it off of. Ew, bad guy. It was quite the character. Dirty cop. Um, but, uh, you know, training day. Smith & Wesson. Ah, I'm moving this 45 minutes south of me. Ruger, I love you. Hey, maybe Smith & Wesson will offer me a job. If I don't get the job that I interviewed for today. So I just interviewed for a pretty important job that I would really love to get, get, and I think I could help people. I hope I get it. I went in front of the panel, and the one of the last questions, you will never believe it, one of the last questions 
the lady looks at me and says, Brandon Lee or Billy Jack? Those are some pretty good choices. Can you believe it? I am not joking you. One of the last questions of my interview today, that hopefully that means it went well. I don't know if it means she looked me up and figured out who I was on this channel and all that. If you were, thank you. I like talking to you a lot. I hope you give me the job. Because uh, I really do want to help people, however I can. However the universe has put me in the, the place at the right time to do the right things. Um, but anyway, back to uh, Denzel. What about Two Guns? Some good gun play in that. What about Safe House? I need to rewatch it. Uh, I plan to do that soon. That, I think, is also on Netflix right now. Uh, Ricochet. Don't really remember the movie too well. I know I've seen it twice. But I believe one of the quotes was, A 25 in the butt beats a 38 on the ankle something very close to that i just looked up the quote i can't find it anywhere so apparently other people don't remember ricochet a 25 in the butt a little beretta i think 25 i think is what it was um maybe it was a baby browning i don't know versus uh a 38 in the ankle saved his butt so i mean maybe this is a 10 list if we just do the denzel movies and what about Hurricane Carter? And I've talked about an equalizer in my fight starters video. Boom, boom, double uppercut to hook. Real stuff. Real stuff there from Denzel, who really trains and takes his stuff seriously. And he keeps an open eye, it seems like, to the world and uh, has some wisdom. You know, Morgan Freeman as well. Been around. Born, or, born in 46 or started working in radio in 46. I forget. You can spot a freeze frame of me holding Morgan Freeman with a Beretta 92. You can, One frame. I mean, basically, maybe like four frames, right? You can freeze frame it in Batman. I'm walking him down the, the, the underground tunnel. I'm holding Morgan Freeman at gunpoint. Did you know that? You didn't know that. It's not recognizable enough for me to even put a video on. I got, I got a picture. I got a still. I got a still in the dark lighting of Batman. Boy, that, those three Batman movies are pretty awesome. Okay. Honorable Benjamin's one of my favorite movies of all times. Aliens. Is it a gun movie? It kind of is a gun movie. I mean, M41A, Paul Schreifel. Let's give Smith & Wesson a shout out again because I did one of the earliest videos on the m &P 12 dual tube, which is going to be good for a law enforcement and military the new model 12 pump gun, surprisingly, that Smith & Wesson came out with and soon will be making 45 minutes south of me, 40 minutes south of me. Um, it sounded just like when I went from the full 1,600 feet per second slugs to the, like, 1,200, 1,250 feet per second uh, mini slugs, the mini shells, with the mini slugs, the report sounds just like the grenade launcher the 20 millimeter grenade launcher, AKA 0.68 caliber 12 gauge shotgun, Mossberg slash with spots full furniture put on it. That was uh, the M48-1 pulse rifle. This sounds just like it. Yeah, I'm going on and on. I got my tea, I got my dogs, I got my pretzels. What's up? Okay, doggies, come here. Please don't knock on my camera. Luke, where you go? Come here, Luke, you didn't get in. I mean, did you? Come here, Luke. Has Luke got in, there you go. Luke, get in camera. You're such a pretty doggy. They're going to get jealous. And boy, Tessa is like... Tessa needs 24... 25-7 attention. Tessa has now gotten in the habit of waking me up every morning, which is not awesome. Just for attention. Um, so that's what I got. Now... We could talk about John Woo movies all day long. A Better Tomorrow, Better Tomorrow 2. The ending of Better Tomorrow 2 is the best gun slash axe katana action you've ever seen. Um, oh, I didn't even mention Book of Eli. I love the Book of Eli. Bit of a gun movie. More of a chopper, Gurkha style machete. Uh, Black Belt around me, Jin Click, I haven't even met in person yet. He, he makes his own knives. He's a knife maker, was on Forge for Fire, I think, trying to get on again. Uh, but he showed me some of his recent choppers that have already sold. I wanted to see him in person. I haven't made it out there because my knee's jacked. But uh, anyway, Book of Eli, I mean, Denzel. Man, Denzel just... <sighs> I wish he was my neighbor. I just, I, just, I just wish... Denzel, can we hang out sometime? Um, so, you know, Twin Fat. Twin Fat's worth, like... 700 million dollars or something supposedly 
He lives on 200 U.S. a month. Rides public transportation, just like, uh, just like John Wick himself. And he's going to give it all to charity. Anyway, so besides John Wick and Cobra, I mean, I, I obviously I'm ready to remake Above the Law, Out for Justice, which we're, I mean, really, Seagal, if you watch my breakdown uh, of Seagal fight scenes video, please watch that one. It's very popular now. Um, he really was doing, like, gun Fu and martial arts together before, like, gun Fu was a thing. I mean, really, Above the Law was already, like, I mean, good gunplay, 1911, double taps. I mean, you know, that was the stuff. That was the stuff at the time. Guys, please thumbs up, share, subscribe. What gun movies do you like? What guns do you like and or carry without telling the AFT everything you own because it's another damn business? Uh, on all that, I'll catch you on the flip side, everyone. Stay safe. Watch your back. Get some good training in martial arts. And pew, pew. Subscribe to Pew Reviews. Get my four and a half hour competitive street jiu-jitsu DVD on BJJ Fanatics. Give me a thumbs up, a comment. Always comment. Give me some love. Give the dogs some love at least.